on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Michael Brewer, one man, two dogs, reporting to you from the island of Oahu in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And back over my shoulder here is Diamond Head. In the background is uh, Honolulu and Waikiki Beach. I want to share with something to you today that I have done before on YouTube with a friend of mine, uh, but I'd like to do it again on my own, <laughs> particularly for this friend. And it's uh, probably one of the strongest things that has arisen out of the Huna uh, religion, which is a distillation of the ancient Hawaiian traditions. Whether this is authentic Hawaiian or not, that's really besides the point. It's a very, very effective thing, and it's called the Ho'oponopono, which is the statement of release. Probably means something like forgiveness in Hawaii. It's called the Ho'oponopono, the statement of release, written by Morna M. Simona, based on uh, the Huna tradition, which is a distillation of the ancient Hawaiian traditions. Uh, there, of course, there are a lot of people debating whether that's the true Hawaiian religion or whether it's appropriate for a Haole or a white person like me to be doing this. But you know, I tend to think that forgiveness and release is a universal topic and belongs to no culture and to all cultures at the same time. So if you don't, if you're offended by this in any way, then just please turn it off and don't watch it. Or maybe you should listen to the end because this affects you and me. So here we go, the Ho'oponopono statement of release. Divine Creator, Father, Mother, Son as one. If I, Michael Brewer, my family, relatives, and ancestors have offended you, whoever you may be, your family, relatives, and ancestors, in thoughts, words, and actions from the beginning of my creation and our creation to the present, humbly, humbly, I ask you all for forgiveness for my and our errors, resentments, guilts, hatreds, hurt, trauma, or pains, offenses, blocks, and all the rest, which I or we have created and accumulated from the beginning to the present. Please forgive me. And then this is the response from the Amakua. Yes, Michael Brewer, I, we forgive you. And you're supposed to take some symbolic water. I'm going to take some sand. Let this sand cleanse, purify, and release me, us, offender and offender, from the spiritual, mental, material, financial, and karmic bondage. Pull out from our memory bank or computer all the unwanted negative memories and blocks that attach knot, tie, and bind us together. Sever, detach, untie, and release these unwanted memories and blocks. Transmute these unwanted energies to pure light. Fill the spaces these energies occupied with divine light. And let divine order Light, love, peace, balance, understanding, joy, wisdom, and abundance be made manifest for all us through the divine power of the divine Father and Mother, creative of all life, Mother, Son as one, in whom we abide and rest and have our being, now and forevermore. Amen. Feel that resonating? 
Can you feel that just go right through to your whole soul? I mean, releasing yourself and everyone else from all our mistakes and errors and trans transgressions to the beginning of time. I mean, particularly here on this island where the uh, Hawaiian culture was just decimated by the encroachments of, uh, of the Christians and the whites. Uh, it's just so important. I mean, no matter where you are, if you're African American or uh, an indigenous culture of any type, or even if you're just locals versus tourists, or I mean, if you think back, all of us have been wronged. We've all been wronged, and we've all wronged. I mean, we make mistakes. We screw up. We do nasty things, we say nasty things, we hurt ourselves, we hurt each other. And this Ho'oponopono is just such a wonderful concept because it says to us, it's alright. It just releases us, it forgives us and forgives others and prays for forgiveness. I mean, what could be better than that? You know, it's not so much the things we do, our thoughts, words and deeds that are so hurtful it's holding on to them. I mean, sometimes people hold on to things for years, a whole lifetime. I mean, pains, imagine slights and pains and wrongs done to us from our childhood, from our parents or our grandparents or our siblings or other kids in school. We just hold on and hold on and hold on to these things all the way through. And releasing them is just so freeing and it's just so easy to do because it's all up here it's just all up here anyway so if we're holding on to them we're the ones that are hurting not them their problem most of them the people that have wronged us don't even give it a thought anymore they've long since moved on and don't even have us in their minds but just think back how many resentments and grievances are you holding are you holding now right this very minute to people in your past or even in your present whether it's your partner or your husband or wife or spouse or your kids or your parents that have just done something in the last day or in the last hour we're going way back to the very beginning to the original wounding that we all kind of go through in our childhoods and in our upbringing. It's time to let go, people, because, you know, holding on to those grievances and those pains are the things that hold back our manifestation power. You cannot hold on to grievances and be happy at the same time. And being happy is the key to everything. So it really is in your own interest to let go. It may seem like a selfless thing to do but it's actually a very selfish thing to do in a healthy sense because letting go unblocks your manifestation machine and it unblocks your unhappiness and the good things flow into your life whereas holding on to those things is a, a block and causes resistance and it just blocks up everything so if you look around your lives and you see that you're coming into patterns of resistance, you're getting into conflicts with people, you have uh, issues, you're, you're just things are happening that you don't want, you could be sure you have resistance and you're holding on to grievances about something. Look inside yourself and find out where they are. And do this Ho'opono. Pono. I'm going to uh, list the text here on the screen beneath my words when I say read it and if you need to read back go back and read it or just look it up on the internet Ho -ho -pono -pono. I'll spell it right here and find the words for yourself it's really really worth doing um, and on a regular basis just keep yourself clear and moving forward I wish you all the best and uh, I wish you peace every one of you Aloha Mahalo, which means thank you in Hawaiian. This is Michael Brewer, one man, two dogs, signing off from the shores of Oahu.